Well, I'm, I have a few projects in Sweden. In, it's three projects. It's a private one that I have been doing for 15 years already, going once a week, and, or once a month to Sweden. And that's like a smaller group where we say, we take even younger horses or younger riders, but where we think that they are going to be future Grand Prix horses and people who could ride in the Swedish team. And then I have one project with the Swedish Federation, which is like the national trainer, you can say. And, and then um, I'm a professor in equitation in Sweden, in dressage from the university, so I'm also working with the high school there, with the university. They have two uh, places, Tromsholm and Flyinge, that are their university places, and I work with the teachers there who are then teaching the coming riding teachers in Sweden. Well, it is from the uh, Swedish Federation, like the national team, so it's some younger horses and some already Grand Prix horses and then uh, and then I have a Portuguese guy and a Finnish girl riding also like selected for for this I, I think they must have maybe 30 horses going Grand Prix now at least and then then it's they had Gothenburg horse show at the same time so some horses went there and and then you can say that maybe like the ge next generation of team riders are here plus Patrick Kittel who is already in the team so he's a strong one because of the uh, VDM the, the big Grand Prix and then last week was the Na Nations Cup and we think it's important for new riders to be able to go and compete as a team and learn to compete as a team. I, I think the, the sooner you start the better because mostly Otherwise, if you wait until they are Grand Prix, then they probably have some problems already. It's better that you, that you get good horses and good riders with good trainers as early as possible. And, and that, I think, like, you know, from junior age, like 14, 15 maybe.